Hey guys. Also guys, it's your girl Deja and I'm back. After two years, I'm back. Yeah. Um yeah, I'm back. What the fuck is this? What the hell? Alright. What the fuck? Okay. Um, as you can see by the thumbnail in the title. Um, it says forgive and forget. Yeah, forgive and forget. Um now I didn't like explain this already, but all these videos that I'm about to make are going to be leading up to the big old video of reasons why I left YouTube and other shit like that. So it's it's a big old process that I'm trying to make. It's going to build up to it. It's going to be, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm spawning everything in like different videos so it can add up. Yeah. Um, let's see. Forgive and forget. I recently, not recently, but I mean, let's just say recently, maybe like four weeks ago or three, no, four, I had uh, forgave my childhood bully. And I'm saying childhood because I met this girl who was in the same school for like 12, 13 years. I met her when I was in kindergarten. Mind you, we was like in kindergarten, we was like five years old, four, five. I might have been four. I don't know. And she might be five at the time. Who cares? But I met her when I was in kindergarten and I knew her until now. I know her now. Kindergarten to now. That's that's so many years. But I was in school with her from kindergarten to eighth grade. And she made my life hell. Okay, this bitch would not stop bullying me. I don't care. And I really hope she sees the video. I'm not going to expose her name because I give her no privacy. I'm not going to expose her name. But I'm going to expose all the shit she did to me and others. Yeah, babes. Yeah, I hid behind the corner for so many years. But guess what? I'm peeking out now. Guess what? I'm out the corner now. Guess what? You're going to expose all the shit you did to me and other people. But guess what, babes? I'm coming for you and others too. <laughs> and Hooters. The girl, I'm not gonna say her name, even though it's like so common. It's like a, yeah, it's so common. But um, I'm not gonna say her name. I'm gonna just say her name, Crystal. Yeah, Crystal. So Crystal used to, she didn't, for what I remember, she didn't bully me kindergarten. But I think I remember some parts of like I was a freshman year, some parts of first grade, she did start bullying me a little bit. So I remember a little bit up in there. But let's see, she was a big bully. Like this bitch thought she was a shit. It was just so much with her. Like first grade. She, I had like a, like, like, like a ring and it was a fake ring. It wasn't real. Bitch, probably got the from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> <coughs> and she's like, she's like, oh my God, Deja, that ring looks so cute. Can I put it on, like wear it for the rest of the day and I can give it to you later? And I was like, no, in my head. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, here, sure. Bitch never gave it back. Okay, that ring was gone forever. But I'm not worried about it no more. Anywho, uh, fast forward, maybe like fourth grade, third grade, whatever. She had to like this click. She made a click. And that fuckers bullied me. Those fuckers bullied me. They bullied me all the way from like fourth grade, fifth grade, six, seven, and a little bit eight. She tried to, but I really stopped giving a shit at eighth grade. But she tried to. And when I went to high school, I was like, oh my God, I hope I'm free from her ass. I wasn't free. This bitch followed me. She followed me. She claims she don't like me, but bitch, you're following me. You followed me to the same high school. What? She followed me. Like, I was like, okay, new school, new mindset. Nobody knows me. I know, mind you, I know nobody at that school. A lot of people know each other from other schools and from child, but nobody I knew went to that school, so I knew nobody. 
At least she didn't come freshman year. No, she did. <sighs> yeah. She came freshman year after I started making friends. And she came freshman year and she fucked some shit for me. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So she was bullying me during then, but then she left for high school. So I was like, <laughs> glad. She left. Um, I met my friend JJ. Uh, I met her junior year. But then we, we didn't really, no, I met, actually met her freshman year, but we didn't start getting close to the end of junior year to senior year of high school. But that's a whole nother story for a whole nother video I got going point out. But me and this girl, Crystal, just never get along. Like, she's so wish-washing. One minute, she could be nice to you and try to be your friend. Next minute, she's a whole total bitch. I'm telling you, this girl is wish-washy. If y'all see... Crystal, you run, bitch. You just run. Just don't try. <laughs> don't try. Any hooters, and like I was saying, by four, five weeks ago, maybe, or three, can't remember, honestly, I was having a depression episode. And I was um, thinking about some old shit. Thinking about some shit that I'm going to mention in my other videos. Including this video, whatever. Um, oh shit. But I was like, damn, this girl really did bully me my whole life. Like, I was never free from her. Like, she had this power on me, and I wasn't like free. Like, she, she, like, she, she had a tail, and all the bitches that she, all the people that she bullied was on her tail. Like, she had a leash on us. And I was one of the bitches that's on a leash. And I felt so attached to her because she she was like a major part of my life. Like growing up, she was always in my corner. Growing up, she was literally in the corner. If I look at the corner of my eye, I could see her. Literally see her in the corner of my eye. And it's like, okay, this bitch is getting annoying. Go away, go away. And it was, she had like this power over me. Like she had some kind of like something over me to keep me down and keep me thinking that I wasn't worth anything or um, my presence isn't worth it or shit like that. She made me believe so many things about myself that wasn't even true. Okay, uh -huh. okay, you know, whatever. But I recently had, I no, while I was having my depression episode, I was crying and I was like, the main reason why I'm sad, most of the time I'm sad, is because of Crystal. And it's like the way she made me think of myself and the way I felt for so many years, I felt weird, I felt I wasn't worth it. I, babe, there's so many times that I tried, yeah, I tried something myself. Not, not, <laughs> I tried hurting myself, but I never went through with it. Like I never actually started, I thought about it. But yeah, mostly because of this girl, yes. Mostly because of her. So I was like, you know, I'm reading and I'm looking on TikTok and they're like, you have to forgive and forget. I'm like, wow. Am I, it's one of the reasons why I'm feeling sad and shit like this is because of her, yes. And many other things too, but mostly because of her. So I was like, how do I do this? How do I forgive and forget? Like, do I say, oh, I forgive you, Doc? Oopsie. I got into caught into character and I almost said her name, which I'm pretty sure I kind of did. You know what? Fuck it. I forgive you, Diamond. Yeah, Diamond, Crystal, Diamond. You know, I was like, a ring, Crystal, Diamonds. Yeah, I forgive you, Diamond. I literally sat in my living room crying praying to God and saying, you know what, Diamond, I forgive you. I forgive you for bullying me all the years. I forgive you for making me feel weird about myself. I forgive you for making me feel little about myself. I forgive you for making me feel like actual shit. Actual shit. For so many years, stuck in that Catholic school with your ass and that fucking teacher. <laughs> So happy she got her ass retired. But 
I was feeling so, so happy when I was like, you know what, Diamond? I forgive you. I forgive you for making me feel like shit. I forgive you for all the shit you have done to me. I forgive all the shit you have done to others that involve me for some fucking reason. And I forgive the other bitches who was with Diamond who bullied me also. I forgive your asses too. And you know what? I'm gonna just say this bitch, her trusty sidekick, Reagan. Yeah, I forgive you too, hon. I forgive you. Yeah. Yep. I forgive you. Because you know, you had no mind your own to think of your own, so you had to follow behind diamonds. You know, use her, use her in her shadow. And even though y'all probably, y'all probably don't go to the same college now, and you didn't go to the same high school, but you probably still, somebody just walked past, you probably still in her shadow today. And you know, I don't care if you're a shadow follower or you're in the shadows, because you know, that's on you. And you should feel like shit for bullying other people to make them feel like shit just because you feel like shit. Yeah, yeah, because you realize people only bully you because they don't feel good about their lives. Something must be going on in their lives to make you feel like something's going on in your life. Yeah, so I'm thinking, I'm believing, not thinking, I'm believing that something was going on in Diamond's life and Reagan's life and them other tiny bitches' life. That was so miserable in their life they had to come and make my life miserable and i'm saying i forgive you i forgive you for making my life feel like shit. i forgive you but i will never forget you bitches i forgive you but i will never forget you bitches i'm sorry but i will never forget i'm not gonna forget you i forgive you because i need to move on my life because you Look, this is my life. This is my life. And I'm starting right here. And I'm trying to get right here. But these bitches are blocking me. And I can't go on without forgiving them and moving on. So I forgive you. I forgive you so much. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I do. <laughs> Literally, when I was crying that night and praying to God and saying, I forgive them, God. I forgive all of them for bullying me, making me feel so weird by myself. I forgive all the people they was bullying. I, I felt so better. I, 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 I promise to God. I should have said that, but whatever. But I promise, I felt better. I felt so better. I felt like 30 pounds of weight, some books, all type of shit, weight, was taken off me after I said I forgive them. Yeah. yeah, I felt so better. And... I think that's why the whole meaning of um, forgive and forget is so important because I forgave them for literally bullying me. I forgave them for literally torturing me. Bitch, they was torturing me. I mean, I yeah, after all the torture and shit like that, all the bullying, I gained anger issues. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I have anger issues. Yeah, I get angry at the simple shit. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I'm sorry, but I do. And I know how to control myself, which is great. But I forgive you. Listen, if they ever see this video, if this video ever, like, my hair is so bad. If this video ever, like, expands and just go, like, viral, which I really hope it doesn't. I don't know. Who cares? I can't control y'all. Whatever. But if this video ever go out to the internet and I actually do sit here and post this and I just go through with it, I actually really do hope them bitches see this video. I really do. Diamond, Reagan, the other little hoes that were falling behind them. I really hope they see this video. And like, years like five years ago someone asked me how do I feel about them bullying me I wouldn't even say shit about it you know I'm like it's not okay but it's whatever no fuck you hoes fuck you fuck you diamond fuck you reagan fuck the other bitches who follow behind them fuck you all and get the fuck out of my face thank you 
also, while I am forgiving and forgetting people, I'm going to forgive my gym teacher, Miss Esco. <laughs> I'm just saying your name's fucking. I'm thinking of Miss Esco for bullying me too. That bitch's a bully. That's a grown ass woman and she bullied little kids, okay? Now, I'm only talking shit about her now because she's finally re re retired from my grammar school. <laughs> I, have been, I haven't visited that grammar school since I left eighth grade. So I can't imagine how many people, how many kids she had bullied since I left. Mind you, that's five years ago. I graduated elementary school five years ago. I can't tell you how many people she probably still bullied after I left. I know she probably did bully more kids because, like, yeah, but I, I don't give a fuck. But, uh, yeah, Miss Esco was one of, she was, like, Miss Esco was, like, in, in, when I was in elementary school, Miss Esco, she was, like, the queen bee of bitches. The queen bee. And Diamond, Reagan, other little hoes with like the minion bitches. You know what I'm saying? But Miss Esco, she was so mean. And she was flip flop too. All these bitches are wish washy. All these bitches can't make up their fucking minds. All of them can. Because one minute, they're nice to you. Next minute, they twist your head and make you feel like shit. It was so many times I wanted to curse her out so many times, but I didn't, of course, because one, I could get in trouble at the time. But now I don't have to get in trouble because I will curse her out, literally. Who gonna give me trouble? I don't go no more. I graduated five years ago. I graduated high school a couple months ago, back in May. So who am I getting in trouble by? I can't get in trouble by my elementary school no more. I'm out of the motherfucker. I don't care. You don't like me? Oh, 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 well. What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> what can I say? I mean, I can't get in trouble no more, so I can really just sit here and curse her out for a whole three minutes. But what good is going to make me feel? What good is going to make me feel cursing these little ugly things out? What good is going to make me feel? I'm not going to feel good after doing that. I mean, yes, technically I will feel good after cursing them out. But it's going to make me feel even more bad about it. You know, I'm going to feel even more bad about cursing them out, even though this shit so old. But it literally, it, this shit I'm talking about, all of this will happen, literally happened five years ago. But this shit holding me back for so long that I couldn't move on to my future. Even though I was physically moving, like I was physically getting up, walking to school, all shit like that. I was physically moving, but mentally I was stuck. Mentally I was stuck back to my 13 year old self, 13, 14, 14 year old self. I was mentally stuck in my 15, 14 year old mindset, but I was still moving as an 18 year old. Yeah, I was stuck. Um, that's why I said forgiving and forgetting is one of the biggest things that I could ever accomplish. Because I forgave Miss Esco, I forgave Diamond, I forgave Reagan. <laughs> I still hate them bitches. Yeah, I still do. I just forgive you. I forgive you, but I still don't like you. And if you ever see this video, I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. Make your own video and you come after me. Because uh, 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 evil don't die easily. But I don't care. I, I really don't care anymore. I should have been made a video about this. But I wouldn't have learned back then if I made a video. Because back then, I would just make a video talking about every single day what they had done to me. And I wouldn't have learned shit from it. So I'm glad that I waited a couple years to make a video about them. Because now I learned and I know more what the fuck is happening outside. All right. Um, yeah, the police, ambulance, the deck. Um, anywho, what I was saying, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>
Um, yeah. But when I forgave them, like when I was praying to God and I was like, I forgive Miss Esco, Diamond, Reagan, and other ones. I forgive them. I never felt so better. Like usually when I cry, I always cry at night. That's when I really like ugly, like burst out of tears crying. But when I did that, usually when I do that, when I cry, I feel like I still feel bad about myself after I get them crying. I just feel bad. But this time, when I forgave them, when I was crying about it, and I forgave them, and I won't forget, I felt better. Like, I, 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 I can't explain, but I, I never felt so better after crying so much. But, all right, um, my camera had, like, barely cut off because I ran out of storage, but I really forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, um, learning to forgive and forget is such a powerful thing that anyone can do. You just gotta do it. Yeah, anybody can do it. You just have to want to do it, need to do it, and do it, okay? You guys I have to want to do it, because if you don't want to, then you're not gonna do it. You actually need to forgive and forget because it's really powerful. It's such an important thing that everyone should do in their lives. And I encourage it. You know, forgive and forget people. It's so fucking important. Um, and then you actually got to do it. Put the work in and do it. You know, it's, that's like life. You want to do this. You need to do it. Like, you know you need to do it. Then you do it. You get what I'm saying? Like, example, like, you need to finish your homework. No, you want to finish your homework before Christmas break. You know you need to finish it, then you just actually finish it. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So, it's kind of like that. You know, want, need, do it. Want, need, do it. Want, need, do it. <sighs> yeah. Forgiving and forget is so powerful that I never, I never understood. I never understood that one little sentence, forgive and forget. I never understood it until now. Now I understand it. Now that I close that barrier between me and the bitches, I understand more than I needed to understand. I understand everything. I, 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 I get it now. My eyes are open. I'm now fully awake. I understand. I needed to get away from them, and I did. I needed to make a video to expose them, and I am. <laughs> I don't need to expose them. I just need to get my story out there, and hopefully others can relate to me. I just needed to get my story out there. I wanted to get my story out there. I'm doing it right now because I know I need it. And I hopefully I actually do like post this on YouTube. I really hope I do. Because that's the big thing. I could be making this video and never post it. This video could be in my phone for two years and I just never posted it. Who knows? So I'm really hoping that I do post it because like I just said, you want, you need, you do it. I really do. I, I really do hope I do like post this. And honestly, if the Diamond Reagan sees this, I'm not gonna say their last name, but if they see this, they know what I look like. They know the stories. They know the bullshit they put me through. So I actually hope we do. They actually, I I actually hope they see this video. I really do. I just want to know. Want y'all to know. Let's get closer. Get 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 close to me. To Diamond, to Reagan, and to the other bitches who follow behind their footsteps like a little doormat. I want you to know, through all the years of elementary school, you put me through hell. Hell. So much hell. You put me through. You. Especially big bitch Diamond. Fuck you. Fuck you. That was the main hope. Then the other bitches just joined along and just made me even feel a little bit bad. But get close. Get close. Fuck you. 
I'm gonna not say I'm not I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm trying not to curse as much because you know YouTube a little <laughs> but um oh my god I just remembered this girl literally was asking me for money money and and and, and my grandma was really saying something about something. I forgot. But I was thinking, I'm like, wow, maybe back then. No, no, she was saying why people bully other people. They were like, the, peop the reason like why people bully other people because maybe something in their life not going right. So they feel better when they treat others like shit to reflect from their life. Maybe she felt better after bullying me for so many years. Maybe she felt better. Maybe she thought it was all fun. Maybe she thought it was all kick, 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 and kick, kick, and and That wasn't funny, babes. I don't know who you trying to press, who you trying to make giggle in the corner. It wasn't funny. That was just embarrassing and fucking rude to do. You're embarrassing and you're rude. And I can never accept who you are today because maybe you did change. Maybe you changed how you is. Maybe from maybe from high school, maybe from high school to now college, maybe you changed over no not high school, eighth grade to now. Maybe you changed who you is, but in my head, in my head, you still the same you was back then. And you might have changed, but I don't want to generally get to know you now because you made me feel so bad about you. I don't want to get to know the actual you now. So maybe you did change your mindset. And if you did, congratulations. That is so, so, so real hurting. Congratulations. But I don't want to get to know you. I genuinely don't want to get to know you. If you change yourself from back then to now, if you're a new person now, congratulations. I don't care. I don't want to get to know you now. I'm sorry. Even though we might have an eighth grade reunion with our other classmates, sure, I'm going to show up. And probably so, you're going to be there. And I'm just going to put on a nice little smile and ignore everything you say. Because honestly, I don't give a shit. But... Honestly, I was seeing something and it was like, um, your past is going to catch up to your future. Oh, no, it's going to bite you in the ass. And that's what I think it did. I think her past bit her in the ass. Because literally, she's been asking me for $7, $10, $5 just to get like simple shit. I think her past bit her in the ass. And I really hope it did because it impacts my future. And I really hope it impacted your future. And your mindset haven't changed in eighth grade. And you're still those stuck up biatch I knew then. I'm sorry. You're still stuck up. You're stuck up. You're mean. You're despicable. I don't like you. I really don't like you. I can't. I, I mean, I can't stand you. I can't, but now, now, now that I'm older and I forgive you and shit, <laughs> I really can't stand you even more. <laughs> We're making me feel so little about myself. I still can't help you. And she asked me for money and I was like, I'm never gonna move on if this bitch is still in my corner. Like I said, every time I look in my corner of my eye, I can see her. I'm never gonna be able to move on if she's still in my presence. So I blocked her and I got rid of her. Well, not like I got rid of her, but I got rid of her from, from contacting me, okay? I got rid of her from contacting me. So if she do see this, this video and she's wondering what happened, I blocked you and you will never have no more contact to me unless someone actually gave you my number. I really hope they never do that. But you will have no reason to contact me ever again. If you need money, get a job, babes. Get a job. Because I'm not no fucking ATM machine. Sorry. I'm not Chase. I'm not Bank of America. I'm not Capital One. I am not an ATM machine. You want money, go ask your parent.
<laughs> and there's so many shit that I know about her and her family. <laughs> I'm not going to expose her like that bad. But uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's why I believe in forgiving and forgetting someone. But um, there's a lot of stuff that I could get into detail with. I'm just not going to do it because I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be telling her business like that. One, without her permission. Two, I just said she can't contact me anyway, so I, can't, I shouldn't really be doing that because it's not my business, but it's my business to tell my story about how I felt and what she done to me in the past. It is my story to do that, and I will do that. I want to, I need to, I'm doing that. I am going to post this video. I probably will post it today. Fuck it. But... I need to get my story out there about how a bitch she was to me, how rude she was to me. If I would ask her for a dollar, no, no. If I would ask her a question, I literally, like maybe like a year or two ago, I literally asked her a question. Homegirl got mad at me because I asked her a question. And I made a mistake. When she first asked me for when she first asked me for some money, I at first I said, Oh, I don't have no money right now. Or how I don't have that amount. But literally when I got that amount, I sent her money. I didn't send her like money, but I sent her like seven dollars. Enough to get what the fuck she needed. And I guess after I did that, I opened the door for her to keep coming to. And keep asking me for money, but I closed that door, so now she won't really come through that door. She can't. I'm so happy that I did that. And I learned from my mistakes. Never trust a mean person. She is mean. You are mean. You are a mean person. And if you change yourself today, if you're if I meet you, if no, if I see you now and you're a new person, you change your mindset and your ways. I'm still going to be stuck in that mean mindset that you was to me back then because I don't know who you are today. But until you show me, show me, show me that you is a new person and you're not the same person you was before, I can forgive you. I can forgive you for making me feel like shit, but I already forgive you on your behalf. On your behalf, I already forgave you. But if you want me to, like, you know, if you want to have a physical conversation with me and you actually want me to tell you in person I forgive you, I will do so. I will do so. But on your behalf, I forgave you. On your behalf, I forgave you. That's fine, girls. That's child's play. <laughs> You're not on my level. I'm just saying. But... Yeah, that's why I say it's so important to forgive and forget because so much shit has happened. And I learned to forgive and forget her. So, yeah, it took like, it's it definitely, forgiving her was definitely a hard struggle I needed for my journey, my process. And I didn't know I had to start all the way from the beginning to making me feel better about myself. I didn't know, because, like, I've been trying to forgive and forgive my, um, this is another video I'm going to be posting, but I'm trying to, I was trying to forgive someone really close to me about their actions and what they did to affect my childhood also, but it wouldn't, I didn't feel better, like, I didn't feel like that was working until I went all the way back to Diamond, and that's where I needed to start all the way back so yeah i started all the way back from kindergarten to eighth grade to a little ninth grade in tent and i forgave her for all that and i felt much better now i'm trying to move move a little bit up from high school <coughs> to now oh <coughs> shit in my childhood but that's gonna be another video for another time um i hope you guys enjoyed this video I, I don't I don't know I I, I hope I hope you guys learn from me a little bit I know I'm not like a nice little teacher I know I'm not a teacher and maybe I didn't give enough advice and maybe I, maybe I didn't give enough advice maybe I didn't even give you advice maybe I just like rant to you guys I don't know maybe I did I thought I did a little bit all three but I hope you 
listen to what I really said, from, like besides from the jokes I was making. But I hope you like learn from what I said. Like I don't really know how to express myself. Another thing from Diamond, but I don't really know how to express myself in my gym teacher from her too. I don't know how to express myself. I don't know how to exactly, but I'm trying my best to express myself and tell people how I feel. It's just a hard process for me, and I'm trying. I'm trying. All we can do is try. Try, 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 and try, and just hope for the best. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just hoping for the best right now. I'm hoping for the best. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to do my last video I'm going to do is the reason why I left YouTube for two years. Don't worry, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. But this is just the beginning of like why I left. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this video is going to be unedited. So all my videos and this little playlist I'm going to make is going to be all unedited videos. So I hope you enjoy of what I just said. I don't know what to say. Bye. I, I, it, uh, blank. Goodbye.